Hi Capricorn, this is Patricia Luna from Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your November reading for 2018. So Capricorn, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for sharing, liking, commenting on my channel. Thank you for all the love and support that you've been giving me. Thank you to all the Capricorns that I have had uh, many uh, readings for you with you. Um, I really enjoy reading for Capricorns. I really enjoy your energy. You guys are really awesome people, whether you're a woman, you're a man. Uh, you know, you guys are rocking. <laughs> I really love you guys a lot. Um, so for those of you that do not know, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for 25 years, channeling messages. So I channel messages with my angels, my archangels, of course, ancestors, my higher self and spirit. And how I do in my everyday life here is that I don't, I just uh, channel messages on, you know, like I leave in the morning, I do my things and uh, go to work because uh, I do have a primary job that I'm very passionate about as well, as well of doing this. And um, I'm, you know, and I, most of the time I channel, you right? And uh, so the cards, when I use them, I don't use them as other tarot readers. I use it as a tool to channel more messages from spirit, okay? Um, but I am known worldwide. So for those of you that want a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, it's Patrizia. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. It has my name, Patrizia, yes. Okay. Um, so how my name is spelled is P-A-T. For those of you that do not know, R-I-Z-I-A, okay? Not with the C, it's with the Z, okay? But if you want to reach me for a personal reading, it's uh, Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 at gmail.com. For Okay, and for others of you, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you want a quick question or you want a quick reading, uh, it's Instant Go, so it's www.instantgo.com slash Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111. If you want to follow me on Instagram, because I do go on Instagram to give live readings, I do not do personal readings. But I do live readings where I go live and I'll choose a couple of like I'll choose uh, well, I mean, I, I, I'll choose like a couple of signs and I'll just start giving a reading uh, So that's Patricia underscore 1111 and then you could follow me on Facebook. Okay under Patricia Luna. So Let's get into your energy. So as soon as I got into your energy Capricorn, I hope well first of all before I even started I just want to know I hope that you all had a beautiful uh, October I hope that things are doing are well for you as well. Uh, but as soon as I went into your energy, uh, Capricorn, I felt a new beginning for a lot of you, okay? I see that there's something coming in that's faded again. Okay, now this is three months in a row that I'm seeing that something is uh, very faded for coming that's meant to be for Capricorn, okay? Now, uh, last month when I did the video and the month before that, I got so many emails, messages mess on Messenger, on Instagram, um, even in my community of how... Um, how I gave my readings, the predictions I gave came true for uh, a lot of the people, okay? I got surplus of emails. So I'm very happy to hear that for the predictions that I gave. But I still feel it's here for you, okay? This uh, something's coming faded, that's faded. Um, um, you know, uh, there's an opportunity maybe for work. Uh, someone's coming in very humbled, very kind. Um, um, this could be an offering as well, okay? And I feel that for a lot of Capricorns, a lot of you have been working on yourself. There's been a lot of patience on your end. So congr uh, congratulations on that because I know it's not easy to be really patient when things are not going well your way or when things are not going right, okay? Um, <clears throat> I feel that um, I'm just going to I feel right now you're reevaluating everything but there is something that's coming to you that's faded you real, you walked away from something in the past uh, you uh, you know I, but I feel at the same time um, that for those of you that did walk away from someone or something or in a situation in the past I don't feel that you are you, you are really happy that you did that, but you had no choice to do it, is what I pick up. I feel there's going to be a lot of communication uh, on your end. Uh, there's going to be a lot of communication coming to you. Um, I feel that uh, right now you could manifest anything you want, okay? So anything that you want, uh, just remain, just try to remain, um, try to remain positive, all right? Um, because there is someone coming in uh, that's going to be bringing you a cup of love, okay? There's going to be a lot of hot messages in the month of November for you. Now, November 7th or 8th, depending where you are on this earth, on this world, <clears throat> there is the new moon. Okay, so you can start implicate, implanting new, new, new dreams, uh, whatever you would like to uh, wish for for the, uh, for the next few months. Because the new moons are not just for one day. They always overlap to a couple of months down, okay? Uh, make sure you write down everything of what you would like. And um, 
also uh, November 6th, okay, um, Cancer is going to go into the uh, North Node and Capricorn is going back to the South uh, South Node. For those of you who don't know anything about astrology. And November 16th, okay, Venus is now retrograde, okay, October 5th to November uh, 17, okay, or 16, 17. It's going to go forward in Scorpio, but it will be in the shadow side. It will be stationed. So that means it will be in the shadow side maybe till December 6th. And Mercury will go uh, retrograde <clears throat> right as when Venus goes forward. So just know that, uh, you know, communications is going to be very important, okay? Uh, and um, I feel that divine love is with you, is coming for you. Uh, it's going to make you feel very overwhelming as well, okay, Capricorn? And I hope that November is a better month for you. I feel that wishes are coming true, uh, dreams coming true for you. Um <clears throat> Okay, so I feel also like a fire energy because I feel like a uh, fire energy around you. Okay, there's an offering coming in for you. It could be a friendship. It might start as a friendship and then come into a romance. Okay, um, for some of you, not all of you, I feel for some of you having lacking or trouble sleeping. Okay, and uh, there's going to be solutions around you in the month of November. Okay, you will have the strength to go through this, whatever it is that's coming for you. Okay, it's going to change your world, but in a positive way. This could be a soulmate relationship, two people coming in together. Okay? What are the messages for Capricorn? Capricorn, November 2018. Okay, I have to cut the cards now. Okay, here we go. Now, there's a lady here. I don't know who she is because I forgot her name. You know, and... Um, I had a reading with you. Now, this is a, just a personal message for someone out there. I had a personal reading with you. You had supposed to move. I don't know where you were supposed to move with your sister. Um, I don't want to give too much information, but you had something about a website uh, that you were planning to do with your sister. If you know who you are, please contact me on my um uh, contact me on Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 and uh, tell me that you are that person because I am looking for you, okay? So I don't know who sh where you are. Um, I lost your email and your name. I don't know what your name is, so I'm so sorry about that, but I know, I, I but I clearly remember the reading with you that I had, okay? Um, this was a, a couple of months ago. So I'm still hearing, I'm hoping that you are going to come through. Okay, so let me take put down the cards down for you, Capricorn. Now, don't forget to leave your comments, okay? Uh, don't forget to leave your comments and always like and share. Uh, Capricorn, you came in fifth place this month. So how I do this is that whoever likes and shares and views, okay? The views are very important. Uh, the channel, the, uh, the, their sign the most will go first. So right now, you are in fifth place this month, okay? This card here. Let me put it like this. So I feel a lot of you are carrying a lot of stress on your shoulders, okay? But this is an ending, okay? So you did get the Ten of Wands. That means like you're carrying a lot on your on your shoulders. You're very stressed. But this is an ending of a situation because it's a 10. So when it's a 10, it goes back to being zero, okay? Now what's crossing you is the Seven of Swords. Now this could be your energy, Capricorn, that you're not trying. I don't feel like it's a bad card, like someone's doing bad to you. But um, it could be. But what I'm picking up from this is that uh, this could also be you, that you are not talking to other people. Like maybe like you're not sharing information about, like if you have someone close to you or people that are close to you, I don't feel like you're sharing much, okay, about what's going on in your life, okay? Uh, or this also could mean as well as someone is trying to get away with something, okay? We're going to go deeper into the reading as we go along. What are the messages? Okay. You got two tens on the ground. Ten ten means you're on the right path. Two tens. You got the two tens, okay, where you feel really like uh, uh, a lot of you are feeling, not feeling uh, that well, okay. There's something that you had went through. Not now. This is like, this could be like something you went through like 10 months ago, 10 years ago, or, you know, it could be like uh, two years ago, two months ago. Whatever the case is, uh, this is an ending of an era for you, which something new is going to start, okay. But I really think that... Um, for some of you, you're not feeling like, you're not feeling, I 
you're not clear. I feel for some of you, now this is not for all of you, I would say what 2% of you are not clear. There's some things that you're not seeing. There's no communication where there was once passion, there wasn't anymore. The Wheel of Fortune is delayed for you, okay, which is divine timing that's crowning you right now. And, um, and I feel that there's been a lot of fighting or drama around you. Okay, you're expecting someone to come through, but it's delayed. I just feel it's delayed. It's not that it's not going to happen, but you are doing things for yourself. Okay, you still are doing things for yourself where you are not probably moving forward that quickly. You're starting to like pick up the pieces and moving forward. Uh, you're looking into your long term, okay, for yourself, but there's not like anything that's new beginning right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for more questions on the cards because what I see here, there is a... Okay, there's a Ace of Pentacles coming for you. Okay, this could be, could be a gift that's coming for you. The Wheel of Fortune and Divine Timing, because it's also my Divine Timing card, is reversed right now. It's not the time at this moment. It doesn't mean that it's not going to be the time, but it will come through. Just have to have keep <clears throat> have, having faith, okay? <clears throat> so why is the Ten of Wands here for Capricorn? Oh, the card went flying. Well, this is what it is. Divine Love that's coming towards you. Okay, because, you know, the, the energies are shifting right now. You you know, November, we're, we're going to be a bit more, it's going to make us feel better because uh, we're in a water energy, okay, Capricorn? And, uh, you know, and uh, it won't be as hectic as it was when it was, uh, when the energies were in uh, the air signs, okay? So <clears throat> there is divine love, divine love coming for you. Are you going to be feeling very overwhelmed with your feelings, Okay. Um, your heart chakra is going to expand. Okay, and right now you got two sevens on the ground, maybe 77. Okay, uh, you're reevaluating everything. I feel for this with the seven of swords is that some of you are not saying, you're not talking to the people whom you probably talk to every day uh, on a normal basis. You're not sharing information because you're reevaluating everything right now. Okay. I feel for some of you, this was an emotional loss um, from the past, okay, um, where um, you came out of it, okay, and it was, you took a break with somebody, uh, could be a, a, a Gemini, a Libra, or um, Aquarius, okay, but someone that you took a break from, you're resting right now, you're taking, you're really taking inventory, uh, someone that uh, cut off somebody here, now this could be uh, the air sign that cut you off, okay, or this is you that cut them off, maybe this is your energy. This had to do with a soulmate relationship, two people coming in together. Okay, uh, maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus. It could be Capricorn as well. This could be your energy. This is, could be someone that uh, uh, financially is doing well. Capricorn, I feel that this is you doing well in your finances. Okay, and there's some kind of passion that, that's coming for you with this person. Um, I feel you've been working a lot on uh, projects on yourself and you're coming into abundance. Some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus again. I get Taurus very uh, high here. I also get uh, something about your mom as well. Okay, um, you're not clear about your mom. For some of you that you know that someone in your family, uh, a woman older figure is went is going through surgery. Uh, I feel here you're just waiting for the news to come in. For some of you, not all of you, a lot of you are having fears about this. Okay, um, but I feel that the person will be feeling better, number one. I do feel that. I also feel that uh, there's going to be a relocation uh, for some of you. Some of you are going to be moving overseas. A lot of you are going to be going on vacation. Um, something about maybe a Pisces for some of you. Maybe you were dealing with a Pisces. Well, okay, there is going to be some kind of transformation that will be happening for you. This is what's crowning you right now for some of you Capricorns. It could also mean that you're dealing with a Scorpio where there's a second chance here coming. Uh, or I really feel that the month of November will be a very month for you to uh, release the last of the purgings and release, okay, uh, release a lot here. You are right now manifesting very quickly. Okay, so I would like you to keep your thoughts positive. For those of you, if it's not your mother or someone around you that's older, that um, that is getting surgery, uh, I do not feel that uh, I do not feel that there's anything bad here. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. Um, 
I feel that the, this lady will recover. For those of you, this has nothing to do with that. It means that right now, you're not seeing things very clearly, so you're not doing really much. You're just, you know, taking care of yourself. There's a lot of abundance when it comes to this passion that's going to bring you money, okay? But I still feel that you're having a lot of anxieties and fears and stepping into it. Uh, but I do feel that you are going to be relocating or moving or moving away from a situation in the past that did not serve you any longer, okay? But right now you're manifesting very quickly, so I would like you to keep your thoughts positive, okay? Whoever the situation was, you healed from the situation, you healed from this person, you healed from uh, something that really caused you a lot of pain, okay? I feel that uh, someone is not available for you, um, could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces again, um, someone that's not emotionally available, uh, this is like a, you would like to have this come true, wherever this person is. You have a lot of nines on the ground, so there is a, uh, what I, I notice here, when I see a lot of nines, is that there's a lot of completions that are happening. There's a decision that you have to make with your heart, not with your mind, okay? I feel that, uh, if you're waiting for someone to communicate with you, maybe take the time to think if maybe you should be communicating with them, Okay? There is someone coming in for you. Now, this could be finances, where someone's going to come in and offer you something where you're going to be making a lot of money. Or this is someone coming in that's very loyal, very kind, okay, that's coming in for you, and he's going to stay. But this is like, I, this is my Taurus card, okay? Uh, but for some reason, um, I do also feel that there's someone else here that does not want to commit to you, okay? He's unstable in his emotion or she's unstable, okay? Someone that keeps coming in and out of your life. They don't have much values and morals here, okay? And October, if this is a Libra, okay, things are off balance with that person. They're not They're not in their element, okay? And there's been a lot of fighting um, with this person. I feel that this is where you have to make your decision, I feel that there was maybe a third party involved for some of you, okay? Now, this is completely a different reading than the rest of the reading, okay? I do have to say, because sometimes they, my spirit guides choose to tell me this, okay? And for those of you that have been fighting with someone that's a Taurus, okay, or a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Libra, um, or, or even a fire energy, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, Aries here, because it's a general reading, Um Maybe there was a third party situation and that's where it's not moving forward and you have to make a decision, okay? But I do see someone else coming for you, okay? Uh, I feel that you are uh, holding your ground, you're standing your ground, uh, a lot of people are coming at you and uh, whatever this is, it's not going into the... I feel that there is going to be communication but um, you're not moving forward with this person, whoever this person is. I feel you know who this person is. Some of you are dealing with your twin flame. Maybe you met them online. Okay, Capricorn. For those of you, some of you, this is a Gemini. <clears throat> I love her. Okay, this is like Archangel Raphael that's bringing this uh, this to you. Okay, uh, th this relationship will be uh, balanced. Okay, uh, an offering of friendship is here for you. There's an offering of friendship and it's going to turn right away into a romance of, of a lifetime here. I see more than one person coming towards you. Uh, there's also, um, God, you came into your reading. Okay, Capricorn, here you are. Or you're bonded to someone, someone's bonded to you. It could be a Leo here, a Cancer, Gemini, like I see, and Taurus, okay, very strongly. There will, There is going to be someone coming towards you. This person that's coming towards you, I, I believe it's going to be like um, an air an air, air, air energy, sorry, air energy. So uh, Gemini, uh, Libra, and uh, Aquarius, uh, there's going to be solutions, okay? Uh, they're going to come in um, unexpectedly and to give you this message, but there will be solutions around this, okay? Some of you are dealing with an Aries as well. I see so many signs here, it's not even funny. Uh, I feel that right now a lot of you are working on your finances, mostly, okay, uh, taking care of your business here, um, being grounded, okay, um, but you're you're not letting anybody in at this moment, 
There's a lot of you, there's a lot of thinking you have to do here. A lot of you feel left out of the situation, but there is help of, around you. But I, I don't feel like you're asking for help, Capricorn. And some of you are dealing with a Virgo as well. There is an offering coming in for you. There is an offering, an humbling offering that's coming towards you. Um, you need to take time to go within yourself to ha have your answers. And what you have here is completion. So there is a completion that's going to be taking place for you, Capricorn, which is a new beginning in an era. But it's not going to be like this. It's going to take some time, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another, I'm going to read other cards to see if I can reach anybody else out there. Um, I wanted to say now, if when you watch this video, okay, and you're here in November and it doesn't make sense to you, uh, you need to come back at the end of the month and watch it again. And I'm sure you're going to get some... Uh, things that will resonate with you. For others of you, uh, take whatever that is meant for you and leave the rest because you have to understand I am reading it for a collective. So it's only normal that um, I won't be able to reach everybody, okay? So just take what resonates with you, okay? And um, let's see what else is happening for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November, okay? <clears throat> what are the messages for... Capricorn. I feel that some of you will uh, have a clarity this month. The divine is going to come in and show you the truth about every situation. I feel that, uh, so I feel also here that you need to trust your intuition, okay, um, about something that you walked away from. I feel that for some of you, uh, there's this energy around you. Of someone trying to get away with something or is i'm like very getting it strong or maybe you're not wanting wanting to open up to anybody a lot of you are the hermit mode like you're not in the mood to talk to anybody you want to be in your own bubble okay um i feel that very greatly for some of you capricorns i see a completion in the home i see a second chance coming for you real fortune hmm. Okay, and maybe you start seeing the inklings of it in the month of October, but we are in the month of November. I feel like your light, your light and your shadow side are intact, are in balance. Okay, a lot of you will be celebrating Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do see an offering coming in for you, Capricorn. Okay, and you've been very patient. You've been very patient. You've been really working on yourself. I know that. Some of you are going to be pregnant, Okay. Uh, as well, there's someone getting mad. I, I do see marriage for some of you Capricorns, and I see pregnancy as well for in 2000. Maybe you'll um, be married uh, in 2019. I don't know, but there is marriage around it and having a child. Okay, for those of you that it's not having a child, you are going to get married, but maybe you're working on yourself or on a project, and it's going to be very abundant. You're reevaluating everything right now, and you're being very. You're discerned. You're not letting everybody in. You're being discerned. There's going to be a lot of messages, okay, for you. Okay, let's open the cards out for you and see what's going on. Okay, now for some of you, um, like for some of you in the month of November, I feel maybe the first week going maybe to the, like from the 1st to the 10th, I feel. Uh, your intuition will be off, okay? Uh, for those of you that have Scorpio in your chart, let's say you're a Capricorn and you have like a Scorpio rising, or I feel that you're going to be going through like a, a, a moment where you're not going to understand your intuition, okay? And if that happens for you, then do not do anything, okay? Uh, don't do any changes until your intuition comes back, okay? There is a message that's coming in for you that's going to take you by surprise, you know? A lot of you are feeling stuck. A lot of you are working on yourselves. You're still feeling stuck, or this is in your mind, okay? You're feeling stuck in your mind. You came into your reading again. Capricorn, you're in your reading here. You need to, for some of you, not all of you, but I do say like maybe 4% of you that need to work on your uh, patience because um, you, will, you, will, you will need to be patient about this, okay? I feel that there is a new beginning coming for you, but you will need to step in into your faith, okay? It's very important that you will step in into your faith, you need to understand what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to go deeper into the reading here. For those of you what's crossing you is a lot of you are being pregnant, okay? Maybe for those of you that are in a marriage or in a couple and you've been trying for a long time, I do see that uh, 
it could be possibility that you will be pregnant for the month of November. If it's not pregnancy, that means it's a project that you're working on, okay? Um, the sun is shining on this. But all of you, I feel that you're still brokenhearted. Okay, there's something that you're not, you cannot seem to get over with. And I feel like your emotions this month are going to be, they're not going to, uh, Capricorns, I feel like your emotions this month are not going to be stable. Okay, uh, you're going to be releasing a lot. Okay, um, I feel that you've been through enough. Okay, you got one, two, you got nine, nine, nine. Okay, this is completions. Why is the is this reversed? Okay, I'm gonna, I wanted to, I, I just want one card. I don't want three, I just want one card for each. Why is the High Priestess here? Okay. Well, okay. Wow, you got three suitors. When I asked why the High Priestess was uh, reversed, okay, uh, I got the Queen of Swords, okay? So this is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, some of you are dealing with, or maybe this is you being discerned, using your logic over your heart. Okay, the King of Cups, which is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't matter if it's a king or a queen. Uh, this talks about maybe someone, maybe you have water energy in your chart. This could also be you. I feel that this is you, okay, uh, as well. Or this is someone that's coming in to offer at this moment, but you're not sure about these people around you. You're being discerned. And you also have the Knight of Wands. So this is Sagittarius, Leo, or Aquarius, uh, Aries that's coming in for you. It's like someone that's coming in to give you messages. Why are they here? Why is all the Queen of Swords, King of Cups, and Knight of Wands here? You will have to make a decision about wherever these people are. Okay, there's a decision that has to be made here. And I think that you see the truth, but you 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 choose not to see it, okay? And you can't really make a decision with your mind. Even though you have to use your logic, you have to also do it with your heart, okay? Over here, I got the Ace of Wands and the Chariot reversed, okay? So some of you could be dealing with cancer or others, you it's a fire sign. Uh, but I feel here there's something that's not quite right, okay? You're not moving forward. You're not taking control of your life, okay? There's something that's coming in that's very passionate, that's crossing you, but there's a decision that you have to be made, that has to be made here. I feel that like you don't know what you're doing in the sense that um, you can't tell what's going on here. Like, you need to make a decision Okay, um, I feel here that there's a lot, some of you are, I really feel a lot of you are crying about a, a particular situation, because there was divine love here for you, it's here for you, okay, but someone's not coming in in the way that you want them to, or this is you, you just don't, you're not finding any passion within yourself, okay? There's still things that you need to release or a decision that has to be made here. But the divine love, okay, divine passion is here for you. I think for some of you, you really have to make that decision. That decision will change everything. Again, I feel here that, wow, I'm getting the same cards like I did in the other reading, you know, uh, at the same place, you know, some of you are going to be, uh, some of you moved away from this situation completely, or you're relocating or going on vacation, okay, uh, this has to do again, again, I'm, I'm getting very strongly uh, a water energy, uh, sorry, a fire energy here, okay, Sagittarius, maybe Leo, or uh, an Aries, okay, uh, someone that's in and out, I feel you're not clear about this person, so you're not really making a decision even though you need to make it because you're not sure of what's going on. For others of you, you're reaching out to a psychic or a medium for a reading to find out what's happening. Um, I feel all you are not sleeping at night. Uh, you have a lot of things on your mind. Okay, the energies have, not, have been very intense, okay? You're not really working on... You're not... I feel if this is, has to do with work, things will be in balance in November. Um... But I feel like you need to work on a certain on a situation. November will be a very um, 
be a month of rebirth for you. Okay, Capricorn, you're going to be going through a lot of transformations in the month of November. The last of, the last purging is what I hear. Now, let's see what's coming up in the near future here for you. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Capricorn? Okay. Someone's going to come in very quickly, but I don't think there's going to be any long term. I think that they're going to be pulled in two different directions, or this could be you. But there is an offering of a friend, someone that's coming in to give you a friendship, okay, where there's going to be a lot of messages over here. But for some of you, this, like I said, not all of you, but for those of you that are dealing with an air sign or a fire sign, I do not see it long term. But for those of you that's dealing with a water sign or, um, or an earth sign, I see that there's going to be a lot of messages here for you, okay, in the coming months, in the coming month, I mean now, um, but I don't see a new beginning in the way that you want, some of you are dealing, some of you that are crying, again, look, the same cards, different cards, I just wanted to see if I could have read for Capricorn in a different way to see what was out there, this is a lover, divine partner, twin flame that's coming in for you that you're still crying over, maybe there's things that you know, you let go of, you have to make a decision that, you know, um, or they hurt you or you hurt them. I don't know what's going on here because there's a lot of messages, but this has to do with your divine partner, twin flame, okay? Um, you're still, uh, your heart is still hurt, okay? I feel that some of you could be, it could have been a Libra. Uh, I feel that um, some of you, maybe like 1% of you or 2% of you, someone came one of your twin flame, your twin flame came back in the end of October to give you a message. <clears throat> there was a long break between you and this person, a long, long break. But I feel that they're back for some reason. But I feel for some of them, they're still stuck in the same pattern they were. Um, you know, maybe some of them, uh, some twin flames here are married to other people and um, they came back, but they're still married or in another relationship and there's not really a new beginning, but they came back because they miss you. Again, the same cards, like the same, oh my God, I'm freaking out because it's the same cards that are showing up in the same reading on the same spot. Okay. Uh, this is like, uh, I'm don't think I could do any other readings on that. The vine timing is here. You've been seeing the signs right now. You're manifesting very quickly. You're manifesting very, very quickly Capricorn. So keep your thoughts positive. And there is a gift that's been, that's going to be coming towards you. Monetary, something that you have to work on, probably a project you have to work harder on, uh, or this is like a gift that's coming in for you. Some of you that were dealing with a soulmate energy that did not work through is because someone was playing games on you. I feel they were like playing games, uh, you know, play, some of you, um, but there is going to be some kind of, there's a lot of communication, but I feel that they were like, they were playing games on you, but like uh, in a way that um, backstabbing you, you know, or just not being honest, okay? There will be a new beginning for you. That's 100%. There is going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a new beginning in love, marriage. I also feel uh, living together under one roof. Okay. Uh, but it's an ending of a stressful situation where you have the world on your shoulders. The tens are the best because that means that after the ten, things will be okay. And there will be victory with this, okay? So I don't know who I was reaching out to. This is something that's going to bring changes to you. There's something that's not completed with this person, okay? There's something that's not completed yet, okay? And um, the tower moment that's going to come in is not going to be like a scary way. It's going to be more like uh, it's going to change you, change in a positive way, okay? So this is what I got for you, Capricorn. Now I'm going to take out some oracle cards here for you. I'm just gonna put this on the side and do it after. Okay, um, I usually don't take out these cards. These are my Jesus cards, but I feel in the month of November, everybody's gonna need one of these cards because uh, November is gonna be a tough month of 
maybe you're gonna uh, you know it's in Scorpio and it's very deep and uh, a lot of purging and you're not gonna understand your feelings uh, just take your time be good to yourself okay and uh, but for some of you there is someone that's coming in that's faded um, so this is for Capricorn for November 2018 so, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. This is for you, Capricorn. And this is from uh, Matthew 5, 9. I will take an extra card of Jesus for you. This is for November. What does Jesus ask to say? So, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. That's so beautiful. You got two extra cards here, Capricorn. You got, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Okay, so this is from Matthew 28, 20. Okay, God's always with you. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And the last card you got is, Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew 9, 17, 20. Okay, that's beautiful. Now I'm going to ask a card from Archangel Michael. Let's see what Archangel Michael has to say to you. This is for Capricorn, November 2018. Archangel Michael, what is it that you want to tell Capricorns? Capricorn. Capricorn. You and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. I'm going to take one more card from Archangel Michael. Prayer will help the situation and you need to stay in faith. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to ask uh, the romance angels here if there's anything that shall be told you. They asked me to take these cards out. What are the messages from the Romance Angels for Capricorn for November 2018. What are the messages for Capricorn? Capricorn. What are the messages for Capricorn? What are the messages for Capricorn? We got two cards. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And for others of you, there's a new love that's coming. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. One more card. I might as well give one more card. One more card for Capricorn. No, one more. One more card for Capricorn. Oh, that one wanted to come out, but it didn't. Capricorn, November 2018. Capricorn. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so you it comes to you now. Remember, okay, you are the magician right now. So you are manifesting very quickly. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, Capricorn. And they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Capricorn. And uh, take care. And I'll see you in the month of December. Bye.